Hey everybody, so in this quick video, we're gonna look at the A tag, which is the tag that's used to create hyperlinks. Some people will call it the link tag, but technically speaking, the link tag is not the A tag. But anyway, the A tag is, allows you to connect web pages to web pages, web pages to other websites. I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So I'm gonna be using Sublime Text, so I launched that here. I got a new Sublime Text window. Now, in Sublime Text, to make this into an HTML page, you literally save as, and I'm going to save it on the desktop just to make it easy. I'm going to call it index.html. Index is always the first page of website, so I'll save that. By naming it .html, this tells Sublime Text that this is a web page. So now this allows us to go into Tools, Snippets, and it gives us that first option, HTML. And here is your boilerplate for an HTML5 web page. Now we know it's HTML5 because we have this doc type here. Again, this is a supplemental video. I'm assuming you've done the Studio Web HTML course. And uh, so you can put in your title and so on, whatever. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put in the A tag. So there's the A tag. And Sublime Text is giving us a drop down list that assists us. So I'm gonna just hit enter and it fills in all these details. So I can put in the link text here, which will be uh, visit the coolest site ever made. And that's of course a studio web. I'm biased. Now here is the href attribute. This is a tag attribute. The tag is the a tag, of course. We know it's the a tag because it's a. This is the body tag, because it says body. This is the HTML tag, because it says HTML. So this is the A tag, and it's short for anchor. And the href here, href equals, href is an example of a tag attribute. It's basically a little more information about the tag, well, this particular tag. Just like your eye color is an attribute of your, uh, I guess your face, of your eyes, of you. Your hair color is another attribute that you have in your body. A car, a car may have uh, all wheel drive. That's an attribute of the car. So href is this an attribute of this particular tag, this particular a tag. And this is where you're gonna put in the address of the web page or the website that you want to link to. And then when you click on that link, it takes you to that site. So I'm just gonna type in HTTP colon slash slash. So this code here, HTTP, is telling the web browser that we're going to be visiting a particular web page or a website using the hypertext transfer protocol. Hypertext transfer, well, excuse me, hypertext transfer protocol. That's a fancy nerd way of saying we're going to be using a very particular way of navigating over the internet to go get a web page. I talk about this again at length and I explain it in non-nerd terms in my main course. So we're going to go www. This tells the web browser again that we're going on the World Wide Web. That's what W, 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 right? World Wide Web. And we're going to go to the coolest site ever made, studioweb.com, well, at least in my opinion. And then I'll save that. Pretty good. So now we want to view this page. Now there's a couple of ways to do this. I'm just going to open this up with, eh, open up with Safari. Here's Safari. So here's the page we just created, right? If you look at the text here, href, blah, blah, blah. In between here, visit the cool site, visit the cool site. So we click on this. It takes us to the coolest site ever created. Isn't that interesting? Now we can go into sub pages. For instance, I'm going to go into videos, view courses, Here's my HTML course I was talking about. This actually covers HTML5, and it goes way beyond just beginners. It starts you off at beginners anyway, whatever. So we go here. Let's go to Powerful Python 3, the course I'm actually creating now. And I'm going to get that link. Here's the full link to that site. Copy. So let's create a new link before I lose that. Let's create a new hypertext, a new anchor, rather, or a new A tag. There we go. New A tag. So now I'm going to tell the web browser in this link here. Let me just uh, expand this. Okay. So now we're going to studioweb.com, but we're going to a very particular page, this page here, Power for Python 3. Visit the... 
greatest Python course ever. So I'll save that. Now, if we preview this, let me just load up this page again. Hold on, let me close this here. Now, there are simple ways to load up this page with Python or shortcuts, uh, excuse me, with Sublime Text. This is Sublime Text. But I'm just going to load this up here like this. Open with uh, Safari again. And you see you got the two links side by side. That's no, no good. So what we're going to do, we're just going to create a little break tag. There's a couple of them. I like to keep the code consistent, meaning all lowercase. It's better. Let's just reload this. Okay, so we got it. So let's visit the Python code. There we go. So there you go. That's a, a basic introduction to hypertext. The key is to get your href attribute. And this is short for hypertext reference, of course. Make sure you get your quotes in there. You could use single quotes. This will work. Oh, sublime text. Give me trouble. You can use single quotes like that. That will work as well. Save that. And we reload. Uh, let's go back here. Reload. Still works, right? Single quotes, double quotes, up to you.